Thanks so much for watching today's active tip about six ways digital tools can help you save paper. When you import a PDF, you're creating a large version of something that everyone can work on together and see. And this can save you paper because you don't need to make copies of it for every person if they don't need to take it home. To import a PDF, you're going to go to File, Import, PDF. And it'll let you look through your C drive for any PDFs you have on your computer. It'll give you some options for how you'd like to customize this. Most PDFs are set up to be in a portrait style, and Active Inspire, you can see, is a landscape style. But this PDF is editable, so now when I click on it, I can use the marquee handles to resize. And I can use the page extender to scroll down. To get to the page extender, I'm going to click on View, Page Extender. Each page of the PDF becomes its own page in your flip chart. You can also import photos or maps that you don't need to make copies of for students. You can just have them on the whiteboard as a shared reference. You can also export your flip chart as a PDF and email it to other teachers or students. You can also upload it to your website so that students can download it and have access to this information. And you don't have to print out any handouts. To do so, you're going to click on File, Print. Even though you're not actually going to print, you're going to use this button that says Export to PDF. If you'd like to save even more paper or someone was going to print it, you can change the amount of rows and columns that you see. If you make it two rows and two columns, that's four slides per page. Another way that digital tools can help your classroom save paper is to use cloud-based file storing to store your worksheets and tests. One example of this is Dropbox. And Dropbox is a great so free service where you can store up to two gigs of information and you can create different folders that you can access across multiple computers. I used to print everything out and then keep copies in different notebooks for each unit or each part of the year. But a Dropbox account, you can create a folder for all the activities that you did in September and keep them there and access them from any computer. All you need to do is log back into your Dropbox. A website and app for iPad, which will allow you to create online stickies that are almost like bulletin boards where, you're, where you can curate different amounts of content and keep them, instead of making binders or cutting out pictures or printing things from websites, you can keep all your bookmarks and all the content that you'd like to teach in one place. And you can allow other people to add to it or you can keep it private. One of the things that requires a lot of paper is quizzes and tests. I have two different ideas how you can use digital tools to help you save paper in making quizzes and tests. The first one is your learner response devices. Learner response devices are an add-on that you can get to go with your active classroom. There's active expressions and active votes, and you can see they allow you to do multiple choice, text input, Likert scale, numeric input, sort and order, and true-false. You can create a quiz by clicking Insert, Questions. Now I can see my question manager, which allows me to add new questions, set the question type and the level and the correct answers. I can also export it as a PDF or to Excel. So let's take a look at adding a new question. I can add a new question right here, or I can add a new question up here. You can also do an assessment right on the fly by clicking the Express Poll icon. Using learner response devices will definitely cut down on paper. You can actually export that from Excel depending on the type of gradebook you're using. When using my active expressions or active votes, I'm going to look in the voting panel to see my results. The voting browser is the last one over here with a picture of an active expression and an active vote. In the results browser, you'll see the time that you gave the test. This way you can give the test to a bunch of different classes and then see, oh, Thursday, March 1st. You can view the results if you'd like, or you can actually export them to Excel. 
One of the great things about using your active expressions or activos is that it actually grades this quiz for you. So the students get an immediate feedback and the teacher will see um, the student's name, their total, their percentage, um, and then which questions they got right or which questions they got wrong. If you have iPads, iPads, or iPhones in your school, you can actually create your own learner response devices with Promethean Active Engage. You need to buy a license for your class or for your school, then students need to download this free app. The license version will allow you to have a certain number of licenses per classroom or per school. The free version that you can download from Promethean Planet to try out will allow you to register three different devices. If you don't have learner response devices, you can still use paperless quizzes and tests through different website tools. The first one I want to show you is Edmodo. And Edmodo is a private social networking site for schools. And as a teacher, you get a certain code that students need to put in when they sign up. And this is my page as a teacher, and you can see there's a button for quiz. So I can create a quiz right here. And I can add as many questions as I'd like. And you can add what the correct answer will be. And, and you can assign this to different students. You can actually make a bunch of different quizzes with the same material and then assign them to students to make differentiation easier. Here's a quiz that I assigned to a student and they turned in. So I can see the answer breakdown as well as if I had multiple students take this, what the high scores and low scores were, and a breakdown across the class. When the students log in, they would get the questions, and as they answered them at the end, it would tell them how many they got right, and they could review their wrong answers. Another site that will let you do this is ProProfs, where you can sign up for an account where you can create quizzes that will score it for you and send you an email with the students' responses and students' results. Another way you can use digital tools to save paper is to have students create digital assignments better than paper assignments. For example, you can create digital book reports, which could be book trailers, where you take a video camera or a screencasting tool and create a video trailer for a book. are great because they look at students from all different ages as well as all over the United States um, and they all have different levels of production quality. In terms of math problems there are many different interactive whiteboard apps for iPad specifically EduCreations is free and it'll allow you to record audio as well as annotations. Let me show you some really cool flashcard sites. So here's one that will allow you to make flashcards. Quizlet here um, works with Flashcardlet, and students can actually practice these flashcards right on their iPad, iPhone, or Android device. ProCrofts also lets you create online flashcards, and you can actually embed this HTML right into your flip chart, or into Edmodo, or into your website. You can actually download a free version of Active Inspire for student computers, it's the personal edition, and students could create their own review flip charts or their own studying games and then um, share them with the teacher, put them on the Promethean board, and have students interact with them in class. Another way you can create digital assignments instead of paper assignments would be to look at if you were reading something and summarizing. So for example, Animoto is a website which allows you to create videos Thanks so much for watching today's active tip about six ways digital tools can help you save paper. Springboard Media offers classes and workshops for teachers about educational technology. Check out our website for more information.